Okay, welcome back to uh, another edition of TV Side Chat about my YouTube channel, trying to explain uh, the videos. Normally I wouldn't do it this close to the last one, but we've had quite a, a few controversial and uh, other meetups with certain RV people out there, and, and I thought I should just go through them while I have a, a quiet place to do it. What we're looking at here is um, what I started, I don't know, 10 months ago was my first one. It's called the uh, TV Side Chat RV Trips. 8 through 11 was my last one. And those are RV trips where we go out, we narrate it, we splice it together, and we put it on YouTube for you to watch. All 30 of you on this particular uh, video. But that doesn't, it doesn't daunt us at all. So this next chat today will be about what we did in the last month and it was quite remarkable to us because we uh we ran into we met up with traveling robert you know that's an idol of mine on the youtube circuit free in my rv so yeah well we'll have to go through this i i have chickens as you know the egg file i bought an incubator uh, we made it a big rooster that looks like the cornflake rooster with a turkin, a Transylvania breed. They're called the naked neck chicken, but a lot of people call them turkins because they look like turkins. And they hatched, and I'm doing four more, and I'll put that on as soon as they hatch. But that's a little guy, no big deal there. This was one day we uh, went down to uh, Nevada City uh, for a hamburger. And we wanted to see what the plays were. We have two playhouses in Nevada City. And we drank a beer, ate a hamburger, and decided to take a little walking cruise. Well, if I drink a beer, I get kind of honest, and I told you my life story. So this is a, uh, a video about Nevada City, a near-death experience, death, surviving death, and then, uh, of course the Christmas story uh, is that was filmed in Nevada City it's called the Christmas card and we took you down where they filmed that but that was kind of one of those things where you just you get honest Cal Root Pagan wife known as the Los RV Veers are honest so that's what we did this is a teaser okay so I was watching YouTube when uh, traveling Robert was in Yosemite and on a Sunday night he posted, or I guess it was Sunday, maybe, yeah, Sunday. He posted a live chat saying that he was going to be in Petaluma on that Thursday. Well, we took off and went to Petaluma. I reserved a spot. Lo and behold, when we get to Petaluma KOA, who are we parked next to? Traveling Robert. Just such a coincidence. Well, you know, what's the chances? Slim, uh, but, you know, uh, but there's Traveling Robert on the left and us on the right. This is when we actually met him. There's Traveling Robert. We were over at uh, Lagunas Tias Brewery in Petaluma. Took a picture. And uh, actually, it was, it was kind of funny because, look at this. After the meetup, after the meetup, I actually took Traveling Robert home. Look at him in the mirror. He's in the mirror. Uh, and we, we were laughing so hard. He's a funny guy. We had a guy named Paul. I believe Paul. It could have been someone else. There he is right there in the back. And there he was. Did you see him? That's, that's Traveling Robert. And uh, I don't know. I was there about three and a half, four hours. I had two beers. One when I got there. Then we ate a pulled pork sandwich. And then another one after that. And then about an hour and a half we left. I don't think I was intoxicated. Sounds like we were, uh, but, but it was all from laughing. It was so funny. So he, he, we woke up in the morning and he was taking off, and I just filmed a little bit of him. I lost, a, I lost all of the meetup. My camera I had the audio, but it was black. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Uh, but this is just a video about traveling Robert, meeting him, saying goodbye to him, and then leaving Petaluma. Quite an ordeal for me. He's a nice guy, and uh, you should follow him. Traveling Robert, 
on YouTube, on Instagram, on Amazon Prime. You can see them anywhere you go. Just pull them up. So our trip number 13, that was trip number 12 to Petaluma. Trip number 13, we uh, went out to the, the middle of gold country for a, uh, a wine tasting event. It was a charity for firefighters and first responders. Uh, it was great. I have that in three parts. Driving out, uh, just going across the bridge. It was quite a bit of, of it. It was inland. It shows you, you know, it shows you the Sierras, gold country, a lot of road footage. And, uh, and the little trailer park we stayed at. The next one was on our way out, <laughs> on our way to, uh, it was called Sierra City. We passed through a town called North San Juan. Now, I have family members buried in North San Juan from the 1850s. And this particular cemetery is hard to find. Nobody would probably know where it was. You'll see that you'll see me walk down and around. It's kind of buried behind all the brush. It goes back to the 1800s, and we're we're searching for two family members whose headstones, made out of wood in the 1800s, were burnt down and replaced with bricks. And I have a family uh, story written by my great great grandmother and my grandmother. Uh, explaining this and drawing a handwritten map, a handwritten map, it was like a gold treasure, you know, like a treasure map, with uh, the whole town back in the 19, you know, probably around 1910, 1920, and where these head sites were located within this one, the nor uh, historical North San Juan Cemetery, with X's marking the spot. And so uh, we just found out about this because my grandmother just died about eight, ten years ago. And my aunt was going through her, her papers and came across a story nobody knew existed. It was written by two women. So we, uh, we took that map and we went out there and we found the headstones. And that's what this is about. I'm trying to get nameplates put on them, having a little fight with the historical society. But you know what? You keep, you keep trying. And then uh, this is the story. Uh, this will show you the actual wine uh, tasting event. And uh, it was pretty cool. I'd never been to one before, but they had about six wineries uh, represented all from the Sierras. Uh, we drank. We laughed. Uh, it's some nice buildings that you'll see, an old barn, just what we did. Then <clears throat> one day we were, uh, we were bored and we we're, were having our carpets cleaned. And I, you know, it had been a week or two since the last time I did a video. And I got so bored, I, I took a one-minute video of the carpets being cleaned because it was such a stark contrast between where he was cleaning and where our carpets were, are, because we live in, you know, our dirt's right up here. We had three dogs. It's, it's just, it was just a mess. And I did a one-minute video for Instagram, <laughs> and it got all kinds of hits. Well, after the guy left, we had to leave for about four hours, let the carpets dry a little bit, so we decided to go up to the farmer's market. Now, on the way up, we were being, uh, being hit by debris on the freeway, like leaves and stems and twigs, so I sped up. I sped up. Now, this one here, the one that you're looking at, trucking pot tour of the brewery, I'll jump to that one. We went to the farmer's market. I needed to cool down my battery. We walked through it on the pre-setup. We always get there early. And we found a brand new brewery that we had never seen before. So we walked in, sat down, uh, ordered a beer. My wife said, oh, go look through the double doors down there, the breweries down there. So I walked down there and just kind of pushed through the do not enter sign. And uh, there there was the brewery. And the, and the brewer, the owner of the store, what it, what came up and said, what are you doing videoing me? And I blah, 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 blah. Well, it turned out he gave me a little a short tour of his brewery, and then we did a market a walk, and it's just a fun thing. But in the beginning of this video is this, trucking marijuana. Now, trucking marijuana, as, as I was driving up, because in front of us, as, hold on. in front of us right there, is Cal Root Hagen, live known as the Lost Army. There you go. As I was driving up, uh, we were being hit with all these leaves and debris and, and sticks, and it was from these vehicles right here. Government trucks, and you'll see a dump truck ahead, full of pot. 
I mean, full, just hanging over the edge. Never seen anything like that in my life. And I just thought it was too cool. It was too cool to pass up. How often do you get behind uh, three government vehicles full, filled with pot? I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, I'll try to stop it. Oh, this is the festival. Well, you you can watch it. It's a you know it's a fun it's a fun one. Just uh, it was just the pot. It was just incredible. How, you know. Oh, there it is. There. Let me go to the front. I'll, and then, you know, I had some comments on YouTube and Instagram. I put it on there, too. Uh, and so I, I, the next day in the paper, the article came out. So I did a, a quick little, a quick little uh, YouTube uh, video letting you read the actual copy of the newspaper. Look at that. See the yellow truck in front? Look how far it's hanging over. It's just incredibly weird. Never seen that before in my life. That, and I even said, if this was 1970, 1980, 1990s, and pot was flying out of the back of a truck, it would be like a Brinks armored vehicle turning over and, and you know, $100 bills flying all over the freeway. People would be slamming on their brakes. But this is the year 2019, and it's just no big deal anymore, I guess. So that was that. That was the controversial one. Then we had this one. I, I went back to my videos and I noticed on two different hotels, one in Grass Valley, one in Nevada City, are both known to be very, very haunted. <clears throat> very. And uh, one time we were buying the house, we were waiting uh, at the other one, at the Hallbrook Hotel, and it happened to be a ghost hunter's night, and a whole 20, 30 people reserved the hotel, and they were going room to room, floor to floor, searching for ghosts. And on this one here, this is the National Hotel, the likes of uh, Herbert Hoover, uh, Mark Twain, Jack London stayed there. And <clears throat> my sister-in-law stayed there on her honeymoon, and it's haunted, plain and simple. You ask anybody that's ever been there, ever stayed there, it's haunted. And I may do a video about a house we lived in up here. It was built in 1851. And uh, it was as haunted. We moved out. It was so haunted. And it sounds, I mean, they did, a, they did an article on it. Uh, but anyway, that's a different story. One day I'll, I'll drink a beer and probably get honest with that too. So that was this short one. This one, this one is the county fair. I mean, this is when you get bored. When you aren't doing any trips, this is what happens to you. You get bored. So we went to the county fair, and uh, I have an aquarium that I'm just growing a, a little water plant in, and I decided I was going to catch me a fish, catch me a goldfish. It took me 50 balls, and I got one. So that's all this is about. But it does show the fair, and, you know, it's rated number one in California for aesthetics. It's a beautiful fair. You feel like you're in uh, like a Norman Rockwell environment. Most fairs feel like that, but this one is particularly uh, retro. I call it retro bliss. And the last one, <clears throat> I lose my voice when I do these. The last one, a uh, buddy came up from way back in, oh, shoot. Way back, I met him in, uh, well, we were going to college. We just both got out of the service. He was in the Navy, I was in the Army. We did the GI Bill, going to college. Hooked up way back when, 76. And we started to do some gold mining. Actually, more driving these roads up here, like this one. Well, this is cement. But these dirt roads, uh, old gold mining roads, old cart roads, wagon wheels. We, we follow wagon wheel tracks. Uh, a couple times we cut through the manzanita or the brush, and we, we find buildings, we find mining shacks, we find a little bit of gold. And we've been doing it for 43 years. So on this trip, he came up, he bought a gold detector, he wanted to test it out, and so I brought my sluice box, and we did a day trip to the back country, did about, I don't know, 20, 30 miles inland on dirt roads, and I did some sluicing. Well, I was more interested in, in doing the tape than actually, you know, taking, that's a covered bridge, you'll see it if you watch, actually taking the gold out of the darn river, and uh, I was being a smart ass for you guys, and I kept throwing these 
these panfuls of tailings after I, I uh, washed it out and just throwing it away. Well, when I was going through this darn video right here, the one that you're looking at as I'm skipping through, I noticed on almost every shot in my pan, there was something called pickers. Pickers are little pieces of gold that you can actually reach into your gold pan and pick out. You don't have to suck it out with the siphon. You just pick it out. Well, I'm looking at this tape, <coughs> and I'm saying, holy cow, man, every swirl I was seeing gold, gold pickers, little little tiny nuggets bigger than sand, and I, I, was, I was more interested in holding that stupid phone and being a smart ass that I kept chucking it away. I just kept throwing it back, saying, oh, well, 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 we'll get nuggets. And I shouldn't have done that because, you know, I'll try to find one just to show you. Uh, where is she? Right there, that, that's, a piece of, that's a piece of gold, but if, if you swirl it around, if you swirl it around, and, and I wasn't looking at all of, at the bottom down there, look at all those gold flakes. See that one right there on the corner, right there on the bottom, boom. That's called a picker. So I'm looking at my phone. My phone was too glary, so I couldn't see anything in the viewfinder. And I was just trying to talk and film and push it around. Tons of it. Look at that. I was just, I, usually you save all that black ore and you put it in another pan or you take it home and you refine it. And you'll have, a, you'll have you know, a quarter ounce just out of those four or five pans we did. And so I was just chucking them for the, for the stupid video. And I didn't think much of it until I got home and watched the videos. And I said, oh, man, I was chucking away pickers. Terrible. What else do we have on there? That's about it, I think. Yeah, that was my last, my last, uh, my last video. So, again, it's called TV Side Chat. I do this because um, some of my videos are raw. I, I, won't, I won't deny it. I don't really have any uh, editing equipment. I use my phone on everything, and it just it can only do so much. But again, just to show you guys my channel and what we're talking about here, it's uh, right there. Cal Root Peg and Wife, known as La Los Arvias, Veers, 43 subscribers, yahoo! And you can find us. There's all kinds of uh, different genres. They say you shouldn't do that, but I do it because uh, why not? Going all the way back to, oh, I don't know, my pool days. Setting up pools and chickens and uh, remodeling. and God, anything I could find a video, I video and put it out there. Am I going to monetize? Oh, this one's good. I told you about this odd stuff. Two encounters. NASCAR races I was watching. I thought the UFOs flew through the screen and I caught them. I'll get a copyright bust for that. And this is this was our trip to, to uh, Seattle, Pike's Place. And you can go all the way back and just kind of, you know, if you're bored, you want to know about chickens, you want to know about pools, it's all on here. And then on my, uh, well, I guess I can't get to that from this mode. Anyway, Cal Root Pagan Wife. Sorry for the jumping around, but again, this is TV side chat. Um, and again, I just do this because some of my videos do have to be explained, I suppose. There it is right there. Cow root pig and wife. If you hit it, you go into, this is all by date. And then down here are my playlists. That's the Lost RVers. That was kind of a spoof. That was a, a take on bloopers, just times we were lost. This one is the whole, the whole trip, all 32 or 33 videos of it. And I tell people get popcorn if you're going up to Seattle and you just want to see what's ahead of you. you know, it's, it's, you'll see it, believe me, you'll see it. Yeah, this one is about the pools. That guy right there has 5,200 hits on it, it's ridiculous. This is about uh, this is about bonsai, bonsai, and other gardening things. You'd expect a bonsai lesson would be uh, more popular, but it only has ten or fifteen hits on it. That's okay. And this is our our RV life too. Now we had a Highlander, and we traded it in for an F one hundred and fifty. 
So on this one, we started trip nine and forward, and I call that RV Life 2, narrated, not staged. And the other one is from the Highlander, which is way more popular because I believe, like everybody else, when you have a small car, you're really interested in other people's experiences towing trailers with small SUVs. And <clears throat> there's seven trips in there with the Highlander. The Highlander did great. But I'm in the Sierras and pulling up to 8,000 feet or 5,000 feet is just, uh, it was just too much for me to worry about every day. It was just winding out. And then we have the, the bathroom remodel and the, oh, no, no, this is Catalina Island. If you want to see Catalina Island, four videos on a golf cart. It takes you all the way around where you can go anyway. Kind of a spoof. One of my earlier videos, I was trying to be funny. I wasn't too funny, but uh danger danger this is my pool uh file a lot of people out there have these pools they love them it's a big following uh you just have to be there my egg file with my turkins my youtube uh tv side chat files my odd stuff files my bathroom remodel files hey listen <clears throat> in this remodel file there is a segment where i'm in a, a tile store uh, covering floorings and and uh, and it just shows a lot of color, a lot of patterns. If you're if you're going to remodel something, you're just looking just to see different patterns, different textures, different you know floorings. It's a good one to go through. And then of course my recent one right here, uh, RV Life Two, which we're working on now. So again, I'd like to say thank you for watching. This is Cal Root Pagan Wife, the Lost RVers. Just do a search and subscribe if you will. Till then, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.